Verstappen's closing in on Charles Leclerc to make the overtake on the track. They go wheel to wheel, Verstappen goes a bit deep, but he makes that overtake stick. Oh no, he's had a little spin. I was going to say, he's the fastest man on the track. He's currently running ahead of Charles Leclerc, but he's had a moment there coming out of the penultimate corner. DRS wide open for Max Verstappen once again. He is closer than he was on the previous lap to Charles Leclerc. Leclerc dives down the inside to cover off the Red Bull. In doing so, Max Verstappen now has a nice gap opening on the inside coming out of turn one, and Verstappen is back ahead of Charles Leclerc. going for it, Max Verstappen on the inside has got Charles Leclerc and has taken the lead, DRS helping out the Red Bull, extra pace helping out the Red Bull, the leaders swap round on lap nine here, Verstappen ahead of Leclerc. Leclerc going down the inside at turn three, trying to make a move on Max Verstappen, who just keeps that Red Bull within the track limits. And that's the first time Leclerc's had a chance to get to Verstappen. Part two coming up right now, because Verstappen's held on to the lead, and he's going to try and force Leclerc the long way round. Leclerc locks up and does lose out a touch by trying to make the overtake, not once, but twice. Down the inside, goes Charles Leclerc on Max Verstappen. Oh, and did that catch Max Verstappen napping a little bit because he certainly wasn't expecting Charles Leclerc to come down the inside. That was a brilliant move. And look how easy it is for Charles Leclerc to get up to the back of that Red Bull, but Verstappen is forcing him the long way round at turn three. So, Leclerc goes for the old switcheroo, forces Verstappen to go a bit wide on the exit, and then he is through on the inside. Well, let's see who comes out on top. Verstappen's got DRS. He's going to try and go round the outside. Oh, Charles Leclerc, he does. Max Verstappen takes the lead of the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. Now, Charles Leclerc is going to have DRS to try and fight it back. Do you remember when Verstappen did this twice in Bahrain and it didn't pay off? It might be a third time that Charles Leclerc has proven hanging back is better. But they're almost going wheel to wheel. Verstappen moves across. Leclerc goes deep, but holds on to the lead. Well, he's got DRS again, Verstappen. Can he stave off oh, his he's... natural instincts <laughs> as they both lock up? Charles Leclerc goes through ahead. Is the patience going to pay off here? Because Verstappen has got DRS down the main straight. Charles Leclerc can't cover him off. Verstappen takes the lead at the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. Max Verstappen, who's going now for the lead of the race, and in a shower of sparks, makes his way into turn one ahead of Charles Leclerc. Tried to get past Leclerc as he came out of the pits, had to wait a lap, but now can Leclerc with DRS get back at Verstappen? We're heading towards turn four. This has been a bit of a problem for these two in the past. No problem this time for Charles Leclerc. And has he covered he's doing the it inside? again, he's going for it again, Max Verstappen! And he's got a quarter of a car length in front. Now they come out of turn two, and he's got a couple of car lengths in front, Max Verstappen. That was so far back, but once again, Leclerc's got the DRS. This time he's got the inside line, forces Max a little bit wide, goes into turn four. Leclerc, for the second lap running, has retaken the lead and has come out of turn four ahead. This is absolutely epic. Look Here he goes. It's Here he goes. Different. He's doing it. He's... It's miles different. Oh, Ooh, that's a big old lock up, Max. Well, this time he locks up, but did you hear the cheers of the crowd who are absolutely loving this under the lights in Bahrain?